roof truss analysis determination of joint loads example question calculate the joint loads for the roof truss shown the roof covering load is assumed to be 1 kN per meter squared the trusses are spaced 4 meters apart assume self weight of truss of 3.6 kN now explanation of question now roof covering load is referred to as all loads carried by the truss that is pollens roof boarding felt slating latch etc self weight of truss this is the weight of wooden roof truss which is assumed as 3.6 kN. This is based on experience of similar calculations. Truss spacing. Spacing of trusses along roofing length. The spacing of the truss along the roof length will better on help us understand how we can analyze the roof trusses. And for instance now, if we want to analyze a single roof truss, it is logical for us to say that a single roof truss will support an area load of 2 meter width along each of its sides. Since each truss is placed every 4 meters and the length of the truss, that is total rafter length is 10 meters, that is 5 plus 5, each truss supports an area of that is a roofing area of 10 times 2 meters which is equal to 20 meters squared on each of its sides along the roof length that is 40 meters squared in total roof covering load is 1 kN per meter squared so therefore total roof covering load per truss is equal to 40 meters squared times 1 kN per meter squared which gives us 40 kN. Remember in the question the total roof covering load is assumed to be 1 kN per meter squared. So let's go on. So therefore the total load carried per truss now including self weight of the truss is 40 kN plus 3.6 kN which gives us 43.6 kN. Remember we said the self weight of the truss itself is 3.6 kN that's for a wooden truss. So now we determine the loads at the joint. So to do that we have to divide the total load per truss proportionally between the joints for instance loaded area carried at joint A is equal to 1.5 meters times 4 meters which is equal to 6 meters squared the 1.5 meters is you know the length of the member AB divided by 2 Similarly, loaded area carried at joint B is equal to 1.5 meters plus 1 meter times 4 meters, which gives us 10 meters squared. Similarly, loaded area at joint C is equal to 1 meter plus 1 meter times 4 meters, which gives us 8 meters squared now a little consideration will show that the loaded area at joint b is the same as in joint d and loaded area at joint a is the same as at joint e so the load at any particular joint will be proportional to the area of roof associated with it now since we have calculated the uh, loaded area associated with each of these joints we can now determine the joint loads 
at each of the joints. So therefore, joint load at A and E and E is equal to 6 divided by 40 times 43.6 which is equal to 6.54 kilonewtons. Now, the 6 is the loaded area supported at joint A divided by the total loaded area you know supported by the truss and multiplied by the total load supported by the truss which gives us 6.54 kilonewton so 6 divided by 40 times 43.6 which is equal to 6.54 kilonewton similarly joint load at B and D is equal to 10 divided by 40 times 43.6 which gives us 10.9 kilonewtons and then at joint C we have 8 divided by 40 times 43.6 which gives us 8.72 kilonewtons now we have determined the joint loads at A, B, C, D and E so we have it therefore joint load at A is 6.54 kilonewtons Joint load at B is 10.9 kilonewtons. Joint load at C is 8.72 kilonewtons. Joint load at D is 10.9 kilonewtons. And joint load at E is 6.54 kilonewtons. So, and as a check, these loads must add up to 43.6 kilonewtons. So, for example, when we add up these, you know, joint loads indicated by the downward red arrow, it must all add up to the total load carried by the truss and since forces must balance there must be upward reaction too at A and E and those upward reactions are calculated by dividing the total load carried by the truss which is 43.6 by 2 to give us 21.8 kilonewtons since the roof truss is symmetrical you can also determine the upward reactions by taking moments either at A or at E. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.